You know, um, remember, remember when I was saying Jamaica breeds criminals and a uh, uh, crab in the barrel mentality? Well, I got ran into another situation with customs and uh, now with UPS. My barber brother Frank sent me a package and um, through the mail, I mean not through the mail, but through UPS. Do not use UPS or Furtado down here if you're going to ship anything new. Anything new, you do not use UPS or Furtado. You have to find other people to use because they're going to send you to customs. They're going to charge you and they're going to let customs charge you too and they're going to rob you because that's what they do down here. All the people in suits, all the people that's government official, they're thieves down here. They're, they're here to rob people and get over on people while they're selling people out. So um, Frank sent me um, the thing and when he called me and told me he sent it, I was like, damn, why did you use UPS? Because, um, and then he told me how much they charge him. And he said it was $200. I'm oh like, God damn, 200 US dollars? If he sent it through the mail, at least weighing wise, it'll cost $70, $80. And then it'll get here just as safe and it'll come to my doorstep. I wouldn't have to go to the airport to pick it up. Because now with UPS, they told me um, not only did they take along, but they take along to deliver my slip. I had to um, basically hunt them down, use all of my credit to call them. And then, and then, they're telling me I got to go to the airport and collect my package, which now I got to go through customs, and customs are going to charge you. Do that. Robbery. This country is a bunch of scam fucking artists. Scamming. Government. Customs. All of them are thieves. It's not the people here. It's the, it's the country itself. It's the people that's running the country. They create this environment where people are going to steal stuff. They create this environment. So when they, when they sit around and talk about it, it's a lot of crooks um, in Jamaica and it's a lot of crooks doing this and a lot of crooks doing that. No, they are the problem. They're the one that's creating this problem because they they robbing people and got people working for dirt cheap and, and then overcharging for things that they shouldn't charge for. So a lot of countries don't do that, you know? So so it's not, it, it, you, can't, you can't label anybody a criminal but the, the people in the government official uniforms and the people that's running these these are the scam artists you know everybody's corrupt down here because you're forced to be corrupt this environment creates a criminal mindset and me i'm just thinking of getting over now any way i could get over down here i'm getting over fuck that so since I'm getting robbed, I've got to rob people back. I can't play this. Well, what the fuck I look like? I'm going to play, a, a, a walk a straight line, and the line is crooked. You can't walk a straight line on a crooked line. The line is like this. The line is like that. But they want me to walk straight. How? Doesn't make sense. That's not logical. So now I can't function at work because I need my package. So now I'm going to have to leave work and go to the motherfucking airport. And I might not even come back to work. Why should I? I'm do, I'm do a day off anyway. I might not even come back to this motherfucker. You know? Because I do, yo, this country is really a shithole, man. This shithole activity. When, when, when the president of the United States said you guys are a shithole, it is. Because that's what's being created by the people that's here. You can't have an environment and it's a certain way because of the environment. No, it's because of the people. So we will see. I'm about to go, I'm waiting for my mother to do what she gotta do. And she's gonna drop me to the airport and I'm gonna hear the fuckery that they're doing. I'm gonna hear how much they charge me on top of that 200. Because the package is not worth, you know, more than a certain amount of money. So I'm gonna see how much they charging me on that 200. Piece of shit fucking country. Down here. These people are shit.
because I know you're going to be a while. That's why I say they can use office phone. Be a while, so you're going to be a while. So that's why I'm saying they can I'm use office phone. Why am I going to be a while? Aren't you going to explain to him what you want to explain to him, sir? Hello? And now I'm going to throw so it's still a set. <sighs> that was the scene before I went off in customs. And when I say went off, I wish I could record it. But I know that if I keep recording those type of things, certain things would be brought up against me. But I was going off in there because they... Let me, let me, let me break this down. I was sent a package by um frank my barber my friend my partner and business partner family you know um <clears throat> he sent the package he paid ups by the way which customs say they don't have nothing to do with ups so they always play that separation game i'm putting everybody in the same boat here because y'all all working together to scam people so frank sent a package to ups ups did not explain to him how it's going to work when he gets down when it gets down here so they just took his $200 for this little box right here. You see this little box? This little box. Okay, so the box gets here and they tell me, oh, they're not delivering it to my house. So I'm like, why y'all not delivering it to my house and I pay $200? They're like, no, they're just delivering the slip to me and I got to take the slip to customs. So when I go to customs, after all this, you know, running around, I leave work took the day off to go to customs so I go to customs and then you know it took a while to get in there because the processing they charged me $800 just to process the papers $800 which is a couple like 500 US 600 US six six dollars US I mean so you know all right I'm thinking that's all I had to pay I thought I was good and I just pick up my package now they said oh I gotta pay custom duties so I'm like whoa what do you mean so I gotta pay again after I paid 200 and I paid so the lady firstly waiting in there I waited in there for an hour before they see me so now I get to the lady and then um she working up all my stuff working up all my stuff and I you know as she's doing that I'm, I'm also letting her know like I'm displeased that why I even have to come up here to um, pay for anything if I already paid 200 US she said oh, she don't have nothing to do with that blah 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 so when she finished ringing me up she said it was about 800,000 no eight eighty thousand dollars which is equivalent to like 700 US but it's a percentage so it all came up to forty nine thousand dollars which is about which is like if you do it for the dollar dollar is 490 us but if you take off the rates it's about 400 us so i'm like that's when i started going off because i'm like hold on why am i being charged so much for something that's probably not even worth this stuff is only worth the mistake that Frank made is he didn't, um, he thought that once he sent it through UPS with the 200, everything was good. But he don't understand down here and how it worked. And I was trying to explain to him that 200 was a lot because and the, the stuff is left in the boxes and it's commercial stuff. But the thing is, what they were saying is, um, because... I, after I broke the lady down, I was telling her, how come all of this stuff that, how come y'all charging me so much for a box? And basically, y'all selling me my stuff back. I paid to get it sent here for y'all to sell it to me. That's what it feels like. So she had to bring me to a supervisor. And because I was breaking the shit down to where the country is creating criminals, just like. I had a blog saying that Jamaicans create, Jamaica creates skin. So as I'm talking to the customs and I'm breaking down my opinions on things, I was very, very upset. So I'm kind of glad that I get to reflect and get to do this video in a calm manner. Be it that I got my package and I got my stuff and I was scammed. But Jamaica breeds criminals and scam artists because the people on top are scamming. That's what I said to her. The people on top are scamming. 
you guys know that I'm using this thing for work. So why would y'all overcharge me if I'm a working man? Which down here, the wages are low. So people who are working, why would you charge them so much money for something that they're trying to make a little bit of money for? She don't know. She said, oh, that's the policies. But then I asked her, how do these Chinese people, these Indian people, and all these other people that aren't from here get all this merchandise in the country to create business and sell? If this little box is worth to y'all $40,000 to clear. So when these people are bringing in TVs and all these electronic devices for to sell to the natives, how come they're not, I, I told her I know they're not getting charged that much. I know they're not getting charged because they're too busy greasing each other's hands and pockets. You know, you're the little person or the big person, but you, it's a person bigger than you laying in bed with them. And how come the natives are getting scammed and charged? I said, how can I be, how can I not be a wolf down here? Y'all breeding a wolf environment. Because y'all scam the workers and then y'all say it's taxes and all this bullshit. But then people that aren't from here could come here and do what they want to do and get not charged for anything. They couldn't explain that to me. They just agreed. Of course they're going to agree they're trying to appease me and make me feel better because I was very, very upset. You know, I was very, very upset to the point where I'm like, this country is disappointing. It's very, very disappointing, you know? And it doesn't make no sense that people are from here that are suffering the most. And even if I'm using it for commercial or for um, work, why, why hit me with the crazy numbers? You understand? I'm a working man, you know, you dudes, you dudes making it so that people go out there and scam, you making it so people cheat the system, because I said, if I was to have smuggled the stuff here, and not go and walk the straight line, then I would have been good, so, because I'm not going to pay that much if I know what the cost was, I'm going to try to go around the corner, and my partner Frank is a good dude, he said, yo, don't worry about it, man. I'm going to just pay the money and make it get right at your doorstop. But little do he know he's paying scammers to come scam me. But he don't know no better. People don't know no better. People like, how come he didn't do this? How come he didn't do that? How come he left the stuff in the package? It don't matter. It don't matter. He shouldn't have to do all that. Because he's trying to do what's right. But when you try to do what's right in this country, it's wrong for you. You're going to lose trying to do the right thing in Jamaica. So Jamaica is breathing nothing but scam artists and con men because the people on top are con men and scam artists. The government, all the way down to the customs, all them custom agents are scammers. And I told them that. Y'all scamming people. And what, what can they do? But say, oh, it's government policy. We're just following the government. Okay, cool. Follow the government. But y'all scamming the wrong people. And, 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 and guess what's going to happen to y'all? Y'all going to be slaves because y'all letting people in to do business in your country that does not have your best interest. And they're planning to enslave you guys. But y'all over here um, um, charging natives and putting the natives through hell and keeping them in the barrel so they can crab on each other and can continue this rat race for this valueless dollar. You understand? Y'all hit my bank account. I'm already taking losses this year, but guess what I always said? Sometimes you have to lose the game. So what lesson comes in this experience? What lesson, what pleasure is going to come out of this pain? Because I said Jamaica has been nothing but pain and causing disappointment for me. Since I've been here, it's been nothing but pain. Nothing but pain. What am I going to learn from this? Huh? She said, oh, but you know, you could have got tax exemption if you do this and you file for this bullshit. But a thousand dollars off, two thousand dollars off. What the fuck is that going to do for me? If you're putting four hundred thousand, four forty thousand on the table, you take out two thousand. That's thirty-eight. That's not no discount. And what's funny is they say that they gave me the discount, which they lowered it to like thirty-five thousand. Okay, so if y'all could give me a discount, that means y'all could take more off. That means y'all scamming me too. Y'all getting y'all little change off of it too, right? Yeah. Man, listen, man, Jamaica. Y'all fucked up country, man. 
That's why that's why the president said y'all should hold. That's why that president said that y'all should hold country because the way how the system is. And he's making his country a shithole too. And I told them, listen, if y'all letting immigrants come in here and do what they want to do, pretty soon they're going to take over the country. Guess what? America is kicking y'all out little by little. Other places are kicking y'all out little by little. And people are coming in your country, buying up your country. So guess what they're going to do for you, Jamaicans? They're going to kick y'all out your own country, you dumb motherfuckers, when y'all going to wake up. When y'all going to wake up and stop letting them do that. No, y'all too busy partying. Y'all preparing for a party right now. You hear the music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what they doing. While people preparing to kick them out of their country, they, they doing pasa pasa. You know what? Carry on. So how do you walk a straight line when there is none? You know, Jamaica, y'all breed a criminal mentality because the government and the people at the top all the way to the bottom are nothing but con men and scam artists. So how do y'all expect the kids not to be scammers if y'all not creating an environment for them to thrive? Why are they going to school? What's education for if y'all selling out the country? What jobs are they going to have if all these people that's being imported from other countries are going to have jobs and businesses and they, they're going to just bring their own people in to work? What you think going to happen to y'all in the future? But then y'all preach for the kids to dress up, cut your hair, do this, wear that, boom, boom, boom. But y'all not creating no opportunities for them in the future. Y'all a bunch of con men and scam artists. Since I've been here, I've been getting conned and it's not by the people, it's by the government officials. Jamaica, y'all gotta do better. Y'all gotta do better, man. This is a bullshit system. And once you don't understand the politics and how things work here, they're gonna get you too. If you send things down here and you send them to me and you don't know what you're doing or how to send them, they're gonna get you. Just like they got me today. And, and my guy thought he was doing the right thing and he thought that he was walking a straight line. But they end up, um, you know, getting us. Because once it came here, I have no choice but to clear it. Because it's, they can't send it back. Because it's going to got to fill out paperwork. You got to do all types of... You no, know, so they create a system where um, they they get money out of you. Although they say, oh, there's ways you could get discounts. You could do this and blah, 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 bullshit. All they telling you is bullshit. Once they get your stuff here, you get the right customs agent or whatever, they're going to hit you. UPS, Furtado... Whoever it is, they're going to hit you. But I don't understand how other people that aren't from here get over. But that's another topic. Carry on.